My mates in my old unit thought I'd gone daft when I volunteered for the six airborne. <laughs> I mean, who in their right mind goes jumping out of perfectly good airplanes into the middle of Jerry L territory, eh? But we've been sitting and taking it for years from Jerry, and, well, I suppose I just wanted to have a crack back at them. After D-Day, we thought we had them on the run, right up until they counterattacked in the Ardennes. The Yanks were bogged down in Bastogne, so we went in to give Jerry a fright and soften up their defences for the Yanks' 4th Armoured Division to break through. Oof, crawling around in the freezing dark in a town full of German troops. Well, it's just the thing to keep a bloke warm on a cold winter's night, isn't it? So what's the plan, Sarge? Jerry's been using Bastogne Town Square as a supply point for their armor units here. That armor's the reason why the Yanks are having such a hard time breaking through. Typical Jerry. Always well prepared. He's probably got enough ammo and fuel stacked up to keep him in business here for months, hasn't he? Not after we're through with him, Taylor. While the Yank assault keeps Jerry busy, we're gonna infiltrate in, take out their forward outpost, and then move to Town Square. Everyone got it? Right then, let's go. Davies and Rogers are already up ahead, scanning the area. What's the situation, Private? A small patrol around a farmhouse is in front of the windmill, sir. Three at the front and at least one round the back. Anyone inside? Can't be sure, sir. Rogers has gone ahead looking for a route in. Okay, we're moving up to Roger's position. When he gives a signal, we'll sneak past and jump the patrol. Get to cover! Sniper, get down! Damn it, now they know we're here! Push up to the windmill and engage them! Private Sharp, if you're that afraid of one little sniper, use a smoke grenade and get to cover. Yes, yeah, we're not afraid of him, not at all, no, no. It's me a fire, Miller! Oh! Solid hands up! Two more coming from the windmill, sir! Looks like we spooked them! Come on, then, lads! Let's take them on! Oh, they Area's clear, Sarge. Looks like we got them all. Private Sharp, get in there and secure the windmill. I don't want any surprises. There's a patrol moving in at the far end! Sharp, take that sniper's rifle and deal with that patrol! Ah! 
We're moving now. Still conversation anyway. That should put the wind up and for a while, eh? From everything we've seen so far, I'm guessing they'd considered someone infiltrating in from this direction. That means there might be more of them ahead waiting for us. Taylor, take Sharp and scout ahead for snipers and spotters. You heard the gaffer. Let's go, Sharp. Keep your head down, Sharp. There's a sniper in that window to the northwest. These buggers usually work in pairs. But I can't see another one. Keep your eyes peeled. You take him out, and I'll signal Sarge. Clear. Right, let's go. It looks like the main street is the only way for us to take. Let's go. No, wait a moment. No, there's two more up in that window to the northwest. They're probably in place to lure us out into the open so a sniper can pick us off. Looks like someone picked up a few tricks after Stalingrad. So it would seem. Sharp, we'll handle them. You find and kill that sniper. Convoy, you must be heading to the supply point. So, what do we do, Sarge? Flag them down and ask for directions, eh? We follow them. If we cut through this cafe, maybe we can find a way onto the street. Private Davy, seal that door. We don't want anyone following us. Crafty Jerry so-and-so, he's got his route well covered. 
Sharp, we're not gonna last long in this situation. Get rid of that sniper. Right. Good work, Sharp. Looks like we lost sight of that convoy. We're close to the front lines now. The supply point can't be far off. Come on, the war's not gonna fight itself. Shift yourselves. Where do you suppose they're off to then? Ah, good question. Wait here, I'm gonna find out. I want you to hold your fire until I give the order. Everything needs to go smoothly or we could end up with half the German army on our heads. You wait here. I'll send Taylor down to set the explosives on one of those tanks. We'll begin the attack after they're detonated. Remember, do not fire until I say otherwise. Taylor's signaling something. Ah, hell, there's something wrong with the detonators. Sharp, look lively. You'll have to hit them with a sniper round to set them off. Okay, Taylor is clear. Take this shot, Sharp. Right, this is it. Cooper, keep an eye out for enemy reinforcements. Private Sharp, keep us covered. Infantry coming from the front, sir. Excellent work for once, Taylor. Use them to take out the other tanks. Sharp, you too. Don't worry about the ones under repair. Fire only at active Jerry Panzers. Yes, sir. Come on, sir. Find some cover!
Lads, this isn't over yet. Get a load of this! They're coming over the wall to the east! the last of them. Oh, my... Sharp! Are you all right? Looks like that's the last of them. Friendly's inbound, sir. Looks like the 4th Armoured Division. Patton. Someone get on the line and tell them they took the damn time. Yeah, and tell them that we did the hard part for them. I didn't think we were going to make it out of there in one piece. I think we should be thanking old Sharp Shooter there for that. <laughs> 